What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week we have a very special episode for you in that we are celebrating Mother's Day. So I have decided to make a special project for the wife. Um, about a year and a half ago, some of you guys might recognize this. It just so happens to be the logo on our YouTube channel. Uh, some nice little ring bowl that I made for my wife. I decided uh, for Mother's Day we're going to add to the collection and we are going to step up the game and scale up. So let's go check out what we're working with. Uh, I got a collection of choice picked split firewood with a touch of a little purple heart um as you go through the video you'll realize this isn't actually the stock that i will be using but it's the best i can do in that sometimes your footage falls into a black hole and i lost a bunch of clips so <laughs> it's a good representation of uh what we're about to do so uh, come along and check it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting up some rough cuts into some rectangular stock. Uh, I'm gonna start here on the bandsaw. This is actually just a bunch of firewood. I'm just gonna shape it up roughly here on the bandsaw and then we will take it over to the joiner and get it squared up and get it ready for use. So I think this is how we're going to set up our stacks. 
this way we'll never have any of uh, the woods doubled up. Uh, I'm gonna get these, just get the ends squared up and get them all cut to size. And uh, we will do some gluing up. guys well today is tomorrow and we got one heck of a mess down here in the shop but that's a good thing because it means we got a lot done yesterday uh we got our glue ups here looking pretty good i know my clamp system's a little ridiculous but uh hopefully it worked out pretty well we're gonna get these all undone and we'll check out what we're working with and move forward from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our stacks squared up here on the joiner. Uh, just even this out. So when we go to make our pie cuts, we got a flat level square base to lay in the saw frame. So let's get after it. Good, we're gonna get set up over on the miter saw. All right, so here are our pieces cut up, staggered, and tweaked a little after running on the saw. But yeah, this is the general effect that we're going for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this glued up, try and figure out how to clamp it properly. Uh, it might be funny to watch. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's get on. 
Let's get to it. All right, this could get a little messy. guys well today is the next and this is what we got this here conglomeration of clamps let's get to releasing this poor little blank from its prison and get this guy ready to turn center line of this piece is of uh, critical importance here I'm just gonna get set up first with the I'm gonna use a spur wherever I put it I'm just gonna be using our spur here and uh, the live center and our tail stock and we should be able to pinpoint out our center line
right guys, so now we're sanded up to 320 on the outside. I'm only really worried about the bottom because we have to flip it out for hollowing, but I'm um, just gonna get a good coat of sanding sealer on this and uh, go from there. We'll get it flipped around. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this rim. It just kind of happened and I kind of liked it. But we have one nice little chunk missing. Where's she at? Right in here, it could be a problem moving forward, so. Anyway, sanding sealer, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're gonna lose this rim. I think though, ultimately, it'll make for a cooler piece. I'm gonna wrap this around pretty hard so we can get a good back cut. In this general shape so far I'm gonna switch around start some hollowing I'll figure out where my opening is gonna be I want to leave a nice bit of this wrapping around because we have end grain pointed at us so the top and the bottom are gonna give us a lot more shine so I'd like to extend this is what I was originally gonna do but then that rim just kind of popped up and I kind of liked it but yeah anyway um, yeah I think I'll be able to sand this in so you get you set up for some hollow all right now so looking at this from this end I think the piece itself answered my question um, we're gonna round over and we're gonna start the opening of our bowl where these tips come together right at the edge I think that's a good idea Let's see how it comes out
think we're about where we want to be for hollowing at the moment. Spin you around, take a look inside there. Um, I think she's looking pretty good. I'm gonna just go ahead and get everything sanded out and uh, shaped up. So we are sanded out to 320. I'm just gonna get a good coat of sanding sealer on the inside and out. And then we're gonna start moving forward with our finish. guys well today is tomorrow once again um, now I'm gonna be applying some uh, airborne elderberry the vitamin C helps bring out the beauty of the wood no I'm just kidding um, <laughs> uh, that's just some Danish oil in a jar that I can dip my brush in so we're gonna get this coated uh, with a good coat of Danish oil um, because a lot of the exterior of this bowl is end grain. I wanna fill up uh, as much of the pores as I can so that we can get a real nice shine out of this when we go forward with our uh, finish. Alrighty, let's get to it. So we got this guy sitting in the Danish oil for a while. Going to start moving forward uh, with the Yorkshire grit and start working up towards the polish. Friction polish. It's done. Let's go check it out. Really happy with the way this turned out. A lot of really cool character. Um, I think the wife's gonna love it. I'll leave some uh, slow rollers at the end. You guys can check it out in a little more detail. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this stuff, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps immensely. Uh, check out our social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Duca Heritage. Uh, we will have a giveaway coming up this uh, coming week. Till then, see you next week. Mm -hmm.